And as I take my hand away, the feeling subsides. That's right. You didn't notice it subsided? That's good. Now I'm going to bring that feeling back for the last time. As I take my hand away, the feeling subsides. Now put your awareness down to your shoes and notice the texture and the temperature of your shoes on your feet. Now I'd like you to imagine a time in the future where in the past you would have felt this way, but then all of a sudden you feel this way. And it's kind of confusing because there's too many feelings going all at once. It's actually kind of confusing, isn't it? That's it. Feeling this way, and then that way, and then this way, and then that way. And all of a sudden you just feel this way, this good, wonderful way. This good, wonderful way. And as you feel this good, wonderful way, you just nod your head, yes, that's right. I want you to notice this feeling and let it build up inside you. Now imagine being in that situation, situation where in the past you would have felt that old way, but feel this way instead. That's right, this good, wonderful way, that's right, this good, wonderful way. I want you to try, I want you to test, I want you to try hard in vain to get back some of that old negative feeling. Is it there or has it gone? It's gone. It's gone, that's right, it's gone. Very good. I want you to imagine another situation where in the past, like maybe having a massage and they do something, just try and attempt to bring back some of that old feeling. Is it there or has it gone? It's gone, that's right, it's gone. It's gone for good. I want you to notice that I no longer need to touch this your shoulder for you to experience these wonderful feelings. I want you to imagine yourself in another situation which, if it had happened in the past, you would have felt those old feelings. And now notice. Is it there or have they gone? They're gone. That's right. They've gone. They've gone forever because you're going to feel this way, this good, wonderful way, from this moment on. This good, wonderful way. And I would like you to imagine all the things you're now capable of doing. Now that you can feel this way, then you can, you can go and have a massage, can't you? That's right. Well, how would that feel? How surprised are you going to feel when you find that you're able to do this easily? Good, because you'll be able to relax, won't you? Yeah, and your muscles will be loose. You'll be able to breathe deeply and slowly. That's right. You'll be thinking of nothing. Your mind will be clear. And if at any point some, something happens you're not quite expecting, uh, first you might think, oh, I'm not then you say, oh, it's just that happened, yeah? I mean, that would be a good response, wouldn't it? How surprised would you be to find yourself doing that automatically? That would be brilliant, wouldn't it? That's right. And after this session is over, you're going to be surprised to, come, to discover that the colour kind of red is going to seem brighter, sharper, more vivid to you than ever before in your life. That's why the colour kind of red, red, red is going to be brighter, sharper, more vivid to you than ever before in your life. Now, whether that be a brake light, a stop light, a colour of a car, an article of clothing, it may be as small as ladies' nail polish, large as double decker bus. Each and every time your mind encounters the colour of red, consciously or unconsciously, you're going to feel this good feeling. That would be good, wouldn't that? Because it would reinforce every time you see the colour red. And every time you see the colour red, you're going to feel stronger. You're going to feel more in control of your own life. That's right. And each and every suggestion that I've shared with you here today will continue working more effectively each and every time you see the color red, red, red. Now, in a moment, I'm going to count five down to one as I do. You're going to feel wonderful. Five, you're now becoming an inspiration to men and women alike. Four is beginning to feel so you discover something truly wonderful. This is your discovery. It can be shared by you in any way you wish, any time you want. Three things those last couple of moments have truly been very, very beneficial for you too. Breathing easier, breathing deeper. Ready to take back control of your life once and for all. And one, eyes opening now. Fully alert, feeling fine. Ready to take on the world? Yeah. Great. Now, if you want to just stand up a moment. Okay. Now, how was that? That was really good. Great. Yeah. Now, 10 minutes ago, I asked you on a scale of 0 to 10 where you were, and you went 8 and uh, 9 uh, <laughs> We were going up over above the 10, weren't we? Yeah. Um, on a scale of 0 to 10, with 0 being nothing, thinking nothing, and and being worse in the world. Where are you now? <laughs> I'm desperately trying to say one, but I, don't know. <laughs> I can't do it now. You can't do it? No, I can't. Isn't that kind of weird? Mm. Really try harder because I really like to test. So imagine yourself in a situation. I'll tell you what, you could test it. You could land on the floor and kill them now. Oh, cool. <laughs> so you put that chair in the corner. In that three. And just yeah. put her under the chair. Yeah, I'm yeah. beginning to dislike you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not when you realise you've overcome your fear. So you can't. Yeah. I send things yeah. to you. Yeah. Yeah. That. Uh, so I just provide you with so a service. When you when talked about, about that, how did that feel? I just, I just feel fine. I actually felt as though you could actually lie down and come up and that'd be okay. And that would be a good test. But I don't want you to do it in front of all these people. Okay. But, but perhaps you can test that during we'll the day. We'll do it later. Do it to, yeah. Yeah. We'll do it later. Excellent. We don't know until she's tried, do we? I saw that. Exactly the same one, wasn't what he said. So, you know, 
kill all her programs, and it's Paul McKenna did it. And the woman got into a coffin, mm. and she was fine. Yeah. yeah. But you don't know until you tried it. You do you want to be to it? Do you see what I mean? I think I think they do, don't they? Yeah. 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 We've got a we've got okay. a coat, Peter. We want what we need. Or a jump. 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 I'll tell you, it was. I mean, the the thing about the boats was always like, a, and sometimes even at home, it at night, was always like. Yeah. At home, if I was in bed at night and the, the window was shut. Was shut. How would yeah. I know if the window was shut? I, I, I'd breathe, I'd be, <laughs> over the window, I'd I would be. This is in a big room. Yeah. Yeah. And it wasn't until I had that massage and they did that as well that I really realised how freaky it was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Honestly, I couldn't have done this Yeah, you stay there, it's fine, that's it. Your own uh, plantation tank. That is, that is big. And it really? says they, they know that's straight that's away, it says in here, doesn't it? Rather yeah. than with smoking, you don't really know. You don't you know. know straight, you felt straight away that you were. Yeah. I knew as soon as, you know, just after the, it was like, okay, what? <laughs> you, you did this actually, you actually, you, you actually what? went. Was I on about? Have you noticed all the language has always been has now been past tense? Mm -hmm. What questions do you have? I've got the first one on Wednesday. I've only ever done smoking. I've got ladies coming in about spiders. She's had to move house twice because there's been too many spiders. Yeah. So and she's now on the third move the third time. So I think this is a big thing. Can I do exactly the same as this? Exactly the same. That doesn't mean then suddenly she's going to have a spider collection. No, no. no. I, mean, so, I mean, it could do if she wanted to do things. You know, it may, you know some people want to do things but have fears. Like, you know, you get a lot of people who want to travel the world but they're scared of flying. You know, so they really want to do some, something but they're frightened of doing it. You know, you get a lot of people who want to swim but are scared of water. So. But it's not going to create the compulsion for them to do that. It's just going to not be inappropriate part of the fear out. Yeah. Well, I had a guy and he couldn't get the feeling. He, was, he said he was scared of heights and he was really, you know, convinced he was scared of heights. And as he walked up the corridor with me, he actually walked way behind me and he said he was doing it because he, could, he didn't know what was around the corner. Yeah. He was very wary of just walking around the corner. But when I was actually doing it, he couldn't do, he couldn't get.